Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Tim. Uh, welcome to another episode of Boone County Beekeeper. Now today, it is uh, Saturday. It is the, uh, oh, let's see, it's the 16th day of March. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, this is a day I've been looking forward to for a while. And we're going to get in some bees here today, finally. Uh, this weather is finally doing pretty good, broke a little bit. So uh, I think we're going to be all right, good enough to uh, get in there and give them a check. Now, a little bit concerned about this one colony over here. Uh, I remember back in the winter, now, they went in a little bit smaller than what I was wanting them to. That queen... Uh, for whatever reason, they requeened last year, and she was not the best uh, layer, I guess you could say, that I've ever seen. She's kind of a shotgun pattern, and uh, I should have requeened her, but I didn't. So uh, I believe they made it, I, I think. We're going to find out here in a minute. I see some activity. I've not been seeing a lot of activity all winter, but... Seems like the past few days it's picked up some, so I'm hoping maybe she's laid some brood and maybe they're they're building up. Uh, got a plan for them, but we'll see. So uh, have to wait till I get in there and see what it looks like. Now, uh, this weather, <laughs> it's been up and down. It's been kind of been kind of ever which way. We've had some uh, we've had some 80 degree days. It's been crazy, and uh, here it is, Mars. Now. Here in West Virginia, I don't know about where you live, but we have, uh, starting in March, we have uh, three three different seasons here, really. Um, first one we call uh, the Red Bud Storm, and uh, what that is, for those of you that don't know, we have uh, beautiful weather, usually all 70s, 80s at times, and then for whatever reason, when these red buds get ready to, to bloom, we have our first cold snap, and that's called red bud storm. Well, I uh, just got done hanging a few swarm traps, and uh, I seen about four or five red bud trees getting ready to explode. They'll be, they'll be blooming this week, I guarantee it. So guess what? Today's in the 60s, tomorrow's in the 60s, then it drops to the 40s, and they're talking about a little bit of snow here, maybe Monday night and Tuesday. Just going to last two or three days, then right back up. So we're okay. That'll be our first one. And then after that, uh, when the dogwood starts blooming, we'll have another spell just like that. We call that dogwood winter. And then our last one is when the blackberries come. And that's blackberry winter. And usually, for whatever reason, well, I know why, they... That one there seems like that's the worst one, but what it is, you've done got used to such that pretty weather that uh, you just don't want to see it get cold. But now usually after those blackberries comes on, blackberry winter's done, you're good to go from there on out. So, all right, let's talk for a minute. Uh, I've hung some swarm traps, and I've got a few more to hang. I've hung a few this morning. Now, uh, haven't been in there other than what you saw me putting some uh, sugar on there. Well, that sugar is going to come off today, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to put some more on, but I've got that big shim on there, and I dread getting in there because <laughs> a lot of times they love to build comb, and our weather just won't allow us to get in there and do so. Uh, if there's anything coming in, they'll try to build some comb up there, and usually you got a mess. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that we don't get into that today, but we may. You never know. But we'll deal with it, whatever we got. So uh, my plan is I'm going to go over and we'll get in that week hive. And I do, I see some activity on it right now better than what I've seen in a, in a while, to be honest with you. So that's good. Or that could be robbers. Might be bad. I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, I'm gonna take all the sugar off and what I'm wanting to do is I brought a, a little three-quarter inch feeder shim I'll take the big shim off get all right out. I made some really thin Sugar bricks that I'll give each one there a sugar brick. I'm gonna take the mouse guards off uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the back of them back down and before I leave here I'm gonna slide them apart for about a foot or so each and uh, 
start getting them into their position. And uh, what I'd like to do, uh, if they look good today, it all depends on how they look. If they look pretty good today, I would like to come up in a week or two. I'll watch the weather. i got to have some good weather at night. And I'd like to get everything down into that, in that weak hive in that bottom box. That's my plan. I like to do that as soon as the weather lets me do it. Let her go ahead and lay some brood in those deep frames. Uh, when she does that, give her a little time, and then I would like to go ahead and, and try to do a little grafting out of the good colony that I have, and then make me a bunch of splits out of all those deep frames. Go ahead, I'd like to just completely dissolve that one hive. You remember, that's our mean hive. And if I see her today, I'm going to go ahead and mark her. Uh, I'm not going to kill her yet. I'm going to wait a while, let her do her thing. But I'm going to mark her so she'll be easier to find. Now, no guarantee that we'll see her today. She's, she likes to hide a lot of times. So we'll see. Now, that's my plan. Uh, you know, plans change. So we'll see what happens. Now, uh, with that being said, we've got a lot of things getting ready to, to happen here. we got... Everything's blooming. I've got a peach tree here right behind you. It is absolutely getting ready to explode. So that's good, but it'll probably get killed here Monday night. Uh, Bradford pears, absolutely, they're everywhere. They're full bloom. Uh, I don't know what bees do with that, but I know when the bees are wearing it out. I don't know if they're getting pollen. Do they get a little nectar off of it? I don't know, but they're getting something. I'll, I'll put it that way. Now, so uh, we'll get in here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll have everything ready uh, when we turn you back on. And we'll just go from there, we'll film that week high. We'll see what we got, you never know. But uh, gonna be an exciting year, guys. So don't, don't really look for any honey. Uh, might try to make some honey out of that one good colony, but I wanna to, I want to try to concentrate on my, my yard this year. We gotta get them built up. Another thing I was looking at, maybe building a resource hive and putting over here a little resource nukes and uh, see what we can do with that. Uh, but we gotta get some bees. Now, let me, <laughs> let me tell you another thing before we start. I'm, I know it's the first video gonna be long-winded and I'm sorry. Uh, something I never have done, I've never bought a bee. Now, I've told you that, never have. Everything I've got has been a swarm or been gave to me it's feral bees. Uh, that's, that's what I've got. Well, I've changed that. Uh, I have actually purchased two nukes uh, from the Blue Ridge Honey Company, which is down in Princeton, West Virginia. That's about two hours south of here, almost on the Virginia line. Now, the guy, he has some Buckfast. I did buy a Buckfast uh, nuke. And I went ahead and bought an Italian nuke. Uh, never been around a Buckfast, don't know anything about them. If you're out there and you're watching, if you know anything about a Buckfast, let me know. Now, uh, I should get them probably about May, is what we was talking. Now, as we was talking, I told him I'd really like to have a Caucasian. That's why I've always wanted to try that. You know, they, uh, they really seem to interest me. I think they would do good here. I really do. And just by chance, he told me, in May, he's going to have some Caucasian queens. So I'll get the two nukes. If I can get everything built up good, make me a good split, I may go and get me a Caucasian queen. So we'll see. That's going to give me a, that, that and the feral bees that I have, that should give me a really good variety here of some good bees so we'll see but we want gentle bees that's that's my goal this year gentle bees uh the ones we're getting ready to get in not gentle but we're gonna see what we got they may not be too bad today because they're small now all right uh another thing that i'm gonna tell you is this uh one thing that i have learned uh myself one thing that i have learned uh healthy bees eat Sick bees don't eat. And the uh, reason I say that, there's something that I have not learned. And what I have not learned is to take my own advice. So if you uh, have uh, watched any of my videos, you've watched me limp around here trying to get some of these colonies that's sick or whatever 
bad queen, whatever my, they don't eat. Uh, if you get down in the dearth, first of August, and you put sugar syrup on top of everybody and nobody has got anything coming in, and everybody zaps all that gallon of syrup down in a week, and then you get over to that one hive that you have, and they haven't even touched it. You got a bunch of ants or something floating around. You got some sick bees. You got something wrong. And I am the world's worst every year to try to get those bees to make it, and then I just end up combining them at the end of the year with something else. And then the, you don't know what you're doing then because you could be giving something else to a good healthy hive. You don't know. So I'm going to change that this year, and I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to ask you uh, to give me a comment. If you see me doing the same old thing, which I'm bad about doing, tell me, hey, you probably need to replace that queen or whatever. So I'm going to try to do a little better on replacing queens and, and doing things like that. I just want to go in the winter with some good, strong, healthy hives, and then we'll get some honey next year for good Lord's willing. Now, getting ready to get in there, I promise. Uh, sitting here on my soapbox. One more thing I want to say, and uh, this is not bee related, uh, but I want to say this. And uh, today, like I say, is Saturday, the uh, 16th of March. Yesterday, well, let's go two days ago, I want to say something about my son-in-law. Uh, my son-in-law has never had a job, okay? And everybody's thinking, oh, Lord. Well, he's 26 years old, and you're thinking, oh, Lord, he's never worked. Well, he's worked, let me tell you. Uh, day before yesterday, on Thursday, my son-in-law, and his name's Willie. I'll not give you his last name, but uh, he had his last day of med school. And uh, yesterday was match day, what they call match day. If you know anything about medicine, you know her, you know what match day, that's you put in a pick and then where you want to do your residency at and then they will pick you. Well, he got matched on Monday and he found out yesterday at the ceremony and Willie got matched at his number one pick, which is Marshall University right here in Huntington. And now, listen. I'm going to say this on the World Wide Web here, and uh, he probably don't watch my videos anyway, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and we'll say this so one of these days he may see it. I would just like to say, Willie, I'm proud of you, buddy. Uh, he's, he's done well. I've watched that boy. He, uh, he come through high school. Uh, him and my daughter have been dating since middle school, and uh, he was valedictorian of his class, and uh, I watched him get a... A biology degree from Marshall uh, with honors, and I watched him struggle. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, struggle. Uh, it's tough. Med school is tough, and uh, I think they started out their their class with 95, and I think 58 finished it. And Willie was right there, one of them. So, Willie, I just wanted to say, buddy, I'm proud of you. I really am. And I wanted to say that for the whole world to see. Uh, I am. I probably don't tell you that enough, but uh, I am. I'm, pr I'm very proud of him. He's going to be a surgeon, so he'll be doing some surgeries there at Cabell Huntington, uh, St. Mary's, and at the VA hospital, which is a great thing. General surgery. So if you need a gallbladder removed, call me. I'll hook you up. Uh, don't guarantee he'll give you a discount, but I can hook you up. All right, so I'm going to get off my soapbox, and uh, we'll go ahead, and we're going to get into some bees. So you stick around. We'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead, and we'll take my mouse guards off, let them down, get everything packed over there, and we'll see what this week hive looks like. Stick around. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, this is the old colony here that... Uh, kind of weak see what we got I've got you a little closer to normal uh, we'll get in here and see what we got and pray that there's no comb built uh, <laughs> it can become a mess at times so we will see so this will tell the tale and I don't see any comb so that's that is a good thing that's what we wanted to see now uh, we've got bees We've got several bees in there. Let me get this sugar off, and I will show you what we got. 
Uh, yeah, this might work out all right. I'm just gonna throw this back here. It'll hurt rain, I'll get them down. So we'll get a little bit here of smoke. We do have bees, that's a good thing. I'm glad to see that. And uh, we'll get this off and get the, uh, the good sugar on. See what happens. Let me uh, get this cleaned up and I'll pull you over. So we do have some bees here on these frames. So that is a good, good sign. That's what we wanted to see. And I'm sure there's going to be some sugar go down in there, but it is what it is. Now, that's what I told you, these girls didn't touch it. They didn't, didn't hardly eat any sugar all year. I don't know uh, what that is. They usually kill it. And then what's really odd is this one over here. I put, they eat all their sugar. And I put a Hive Alive fondant patty on there. And you know what? Never touched it. Never touched it whatsoever. But they did. We got a glue. They did eat. Uh, they did eat their uh, sugar. And I'm going to show you something here, guys. Well, I got you. So I had a comment about this entrance here. So you see, if you can see that, the bees will take care of it. They have propolized that up. They, they will dictate what they want, uh, whether they want to... Uh, to have uh, uh, some space or whatever an opening, they will let you, they will let you know. So, so a little sugar went down in there, but that's okay. So, let's uh, get in here and see what we got. And I don't know what to expect. I don't know a lot of glue, I would say. But we'll see what we got and see what these girls look like. Will we have enough? To, uh, will we have enough? See, there's a full frame of honey right there. Full frame. So, they've got plenty of food. But they've not been eaten. And I don't know there's another full frame. I don't know what that is now. Do we have bees or was that robber bees? I don't know. Could have just been robbers. We may have a, a dead out here and not know it. So, a frame of honey. Honey. Honey, a few bees. There's a little bit of larva and brood. So yeah, we've got some. There's a little bit of larva and a little bit of brood. So we do have a little bit of bees in here. So, and apparently we've still got a queen. So it's a good thing. I've got sugar everywhere. I guess they'll eat that off the frames. Uh, here is honey and the pollen. We'll get down to this bottom box. But that sugar's went everywhere. That's probably not good. Honey, they've very, very little have they done all winter. And I just, I don't understand that. They've got food at the wazoo here. So we'll see. All honey in the top. Okay, let's get this off. We'll get to see what's in that bottom. Do we have something? We've got... Got a queen or some I've seen larva there. So we've got something. But what? That's the question of what. I probably don't have to put no sugar on these girls. They've got plenty of food. Alright. So let's see if we can get this. It's glued down pretty good. Acts very, very odd, they do. Okay, so we got a few bees. Like I said, not a lot. Not a lot at all. Uh, I hear them. I don't know what we got. I'm going to tamp my smoker down a little bit. Hang on. I don't know what we got. I was really hoping to split this hive pretty hard, but it's not looking very good. I guess we can use what we got. So let's see where we're at here, guys. We've got some bees in this box here, but not a lot. Man, they have got her glued down. 
and they're coming out all right so there is an old cup uh, and I'll tell you what that is that looks to me like fresh nectar so let me come around there we've got some old nectar we've got some fresh nectar we've got pollen so all right so let's see what we got here very weird very very weird I see bees we just don't have a lot empty comb that comb has got fresh nectar in it uh, these bees are sick there's something going on here I'm gonna show you we got something going on with these bees so I think I need to get rid of these girls let's see all the frames are wet there's no uh, no eggs no anything I see over here looks like old mildew and stuff we uh I don't know we don't have dead bees in the bottom no hang on get on over in here and see what we got yeah we've got something going on here uh, I think this is mostly just robber bees I swear I do something's happened to these girls so I don't think this one's gonna be a bust I seen some brood and eggs there in the top one frame it's all I seen nothing there's nothing in here I don't I don't know this is very very odd never there's not an egg there's nothing but all the frames look wet uh, good looking comb I don't know but we've got something going on here yeah definitely yeah we've got something going on this is a I think this is all robbers is what this is so I'm gonna jerk this one out here today and I'm gonna get these girls out of here that's what I'm gonna do yeah we've we've that's just I think that's just robbers all right so now we know I knew I didn't see a lot of activity they were just uh, eating that honey that's what they was doing something's happened to these girls uh, they've got sick something's happened and they're gone so we'll kind of go from there now nothing there no queen no anything so not an egg not anything so we're going to get rid of these girls today i'll take these frames home the good comb i will uh, freeze and uh, the bad comb anything that looks like might have something on it I'll, I'll burn it i don't want to whatever happened to transfer over to my other ones so we're going to slide these over here out of the way and we'll go from there now so that changes our plans big time uh, let me go ahead and put this on that really changed i got a full super honey so whatever's happened must have happened pretty early in the season so i'm going to put this lid on 